Hello everyone, welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to calculate the harmonics of a waveform calculated by the ANSYS Simplorer software. In the previous video, we simulated the single phase inverter and we generated these graphs the load voltage and the load current so the aim is to consider one electric period of these waveforms in their steady state operation okay and calculate the harmonic content as you know we have a transient at the startup and we can select a period in a steady state operation of the circuit and calculate the harmonic content so the first step is to export this graph i am going to use matlab to calculate the harmonic content so here i can select this graph and from report 2d export the graph or simply i can right click on this graph export and export this graph so i am going to export it in the same folder this is the current folder in matlab so i export this graph in dot tab format data dot tab also you should care about the units the time unit is millisecond and the unit of the data is volt so let's save yes and now let's check the data here is the data dot tab the first line is time and this is a string and this is a string parameter the title of the first column and the title of the second column so here first i clear the command window clear the previous variables and close all available figures and here we have some parameters to set the first one is the fundamental frequency of the waveform. You know that the fundamental frequency of this waveform is 60 Hz. We said it before. Yes, this example, the fundamental frequency. The next parameter is the electric period what is the value of one electric period is one divided by the fundamental frequency the unit is second this is h max i consider it up to 400 harmonics yes so h max is the maximum harmonic in computation H sum is the maximum harmonic in summation plot. I will explain this later. T1 is the start of the period that we are going to calculate the harmonic content. T2 is the end of the period that is T1 plus T, the period times 1000 because the unit here is millisecond and unit of this is second i multiply it by 1000 and l is the half of the time period so first i open the file data.tab for reading purpose and i use the fget line function here also i wrote this condition if file identifier is negative we publish this error and terminate the code because the file cannot be open so then we read the first line time and 
VM1, these are two strings. We don't store them. And then we read the rest of the data with the followed formats. The rest of data are numbers. Then we close the file. And if I place a breakpoint here and run the code and print data, as you can see, data is just a column vector. So what is the size of data? Is this number by one. So this is a column vector. And to have the data in matrix format, we need to reshape it. So I reshaped it into two rows and a number of columns. We don't know what is the number of columns, but we know that the first row is time and second row is the data, the waveform. So let's uh, place a break point here and run the code. Here is the waveform that we read in MATLAB up to now. Yes, we have the same waveform here and just we read this waveform and plot it here in MATLAB. So next is to find the index of the points that are inside the specified interval. So I consider it T1 and T2 and I want to pick up the data in this interval and calculate the harmonics. So I use the bit and function find indices of the elements of the time row that are higher than T1 and lower than or equal to T2. And the first data, the first row of these indices are time. I'll multiply them by 1 e minus 3 to have T in second. And this is the Y data. And also I plotted the selected data with the red color. So let me place a break point here and run the code. As you can see, the blue curve is the total waveform and this is the interval of interest. So if I, for example, change this to 15, run the code, this is the interval. Let's start out the interval and end. Anyway. The next step is to calculate the AN and BN. You know these equations. Yes. To calculate AN and BN, the coefficient of these terms in the Fourier series expansion. And I used this equation to calculate the harmonics. So first I allocate the memory. H max is the maximum harmonic order that I am going to calculate. And here I calculated AN and BN using these two equations. I used trapezoidal integration to calculate these integrals. Okay, so here are calculations and HN is the SQRT of AN to the power 2, BN to the power 2, the amplitude of the harmonic, and then I use the bar plot to plot the harmonic order and amplitude. Then I do this summation and sum up the Y to approximate the waveform with Fourier series expansion to check I am in the correct way or not. So let me run the code. Here you can see the selected interval and the fundamental harmonic. Okay. So if I increase the edge sum, the maximum value of edge sum could be equal to this one. For example, 400. As you can see, when we increase the edge sum, approximation is close to the 
waveform that we have. But because the fundamental is our interest, I set this parameter equal to 1. So, here is the waveform selected interval and calculated fundamental harmonic and these are harmonic orders. So, for bipolar SPWM, you can review this section and review this analytic explanation to calculate the harmonics of the voltage. We have this graph that is frequency spectrum for bipolar PWM with MA equal to 1. As you can see here, we have the fundamental frequency and the harmonic order is for MF order, 2 times MF, 3 times MF and so on. You can see the relative amplitude of harmonics for these harmonic orders. And as you know, as long as we increase MF, the harmonics occur at higher and higher frequencies. So, let's check the numbers that we calculated by MATLAB and numbers that we have in this example. When the value of MF is 21, the first harmonics are at N, 21, 19 and 23. Yes, these three harmonics, important harmonics. The value of voltage V21 is 82 volts, V19 and 23 is 22 volts. So, when I run this code and I check the value of the amplitudes here for the fundamental, this is 80. For this one is 22, for this one 22.3 and this is 81. Here this is 82 and 22. Yes, I can reduce the time step size to calculate the exact numbers that we have here. So this shows that our calculation is correct and as you can see here, we have the fundamental harmonic here, then we have these three harmonics. The x value is 21, here the x value is 23 and 19. These three important harmonics. So, and also we calculated the values that we have here. And let's check the value of current. For each harmonic, you know, uh, here also you can calculate the current corresponding to each harmonic. For this case, we can export this graph, the current, export data, and repeat the code. So, this is the selected electric period and this is the fundamental harmonic. Let's check the amplitudes. The amplitude of the fundamental harmonic is 6.43. In the reference, the amplitude is 6.39, that is closed. The value of current for this harmonic 21 is 0.52. So is 0.51 for this harmonic 0.13, 0 0.13 for this harmonic 0 0.15, 0 0.15. So yes, the amplitude of the harmonics in the current is very low in compared with the fundamental one. So, yes, here you can see the explanation in this reference to calculate the harmonics. 
and we calculated the harmonics using the MATLAB software. Also, you can calculate the power absorbed by load resistor and the THT of the load current. Yes, you can implement this equation to calculate the THT. Also here in Simplorer, you can define this output equation that is the R1 dot I times or to the power 2 R1 dot R the value of the resistance for this object resistance we can implement the function here or we know that the value of resistance is 10 O and we can even we can directly plot the resistive losses 10 times R1 dot I to the power 2 and calculate the average value 208.4 here we have 205 because only 4 harmonics are considered but in the ANSI Simplorer we have the time domain uh, waveform also you can implement this equation in MATLAB to calculate the value of THD anyway in this video just I wanted to explain how we can export the waveform of the load voltage and how we can calculate the harmonics in the MATLAB software. Thanks for watching.